What's going on everybody? Mortem here and today I'm just bringing you five video games that I really enjoyed getting 100% on. For the most part these are shorter games that honestly just had gameplay things that I really enjoyed. And while I primarily cover CRPGs and I do find those games to be satisfying to complete, they tend to be very long and drawn out whereas the games on this list are kind of shorter, snappier, and just kind of fun to play without having to apply so much knowledge basically. So the first game on this list is actually Fable, the Anniversary Edition. This was to mark, I believe it was the 10-year anniversary of the first game. And I actually really love the Fable series, specifically the first game, actually. I don't feel like 2 and 3 really captured the fun that was like building your own unique character from the first game. I don't think the sequels really honestly touched how great the first game was. And so when the Anniversary Edition came out, I picked it up, and then Fable is one of those games where all of the systems are so kind of busted that it's easy to spend a short amount of time doing one thing, taking it to the extreme, and then kind of just breaking the game through the mechanics of it, such as the spell system, which in Fable didn't really have a limit, or, you know, buying up all the property in a town and then suddenly becoming so rich that the rest of the game is a joke because you can just buy everything. But a lot of dumb fun. I enjoyed the original Fable a lot. The sequels, not so much. Now, in number four, we have The Outer Worlds. Now, I actually have a review after 100% for this particular game up on the channel if you want my extended thoughts, but gameplay-wise, I think it is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the, the gunplay, all the different types of combat, combined with the very unique humor of the Outer Worlds. It's just a ton of fun. I actually made a few builds for this. You can build around, like, leadership and then, like, the Mad Scientist-style weapons. There's just a lot of fun to be had in the Outer Worlds gameplay-wise, and I really did enjoy that part of it. Third on the list, we have Biomutant. So, similar thing to the Outer Worlds gameplay-wise, I really can't fault Biomutant. They did just a ton of unique things that I've really just not exactly gotten that kind of flavor of game before. And while the game itself is uh, a little on the short side, to be honest, I don't think there's a ton there to keep you interested after beating it maybe one or two times. The combat combined with the weird anthropomorphized animal thing is just a really fun gameplay system. And I really enjoyed the time I spent with Biomutant. That is another game I have a review after 100% up on the channel for if you're interested. And then in our second spot, we actually have a game I have not covered on the channel at all, but I have 100% it, of course. And that is South Park, The Fractured But Whole. So both of the South Park RPGs are honestly really good, like surprisingly so. Not just in their uh, gameplay systems, but honestly, it's like playing through a very long episode of South Park. So, you know, if you don't like South Park, obviously you're not going to like this game, but I find South Park hilarious. Obviously, the game doesn't take itself particularly seriously, but you can tell, despite all the crass humor and everything, a lot of love went into making this game because it is very well done, and it is just a blast. Fairly short, too, like maybe 20, 30 hours tops. And that brings us to my number one fun game to play in terms of 100%, and that was actually Maneater. So I did review this game as well. I did not review the DLC that came out a little bit later, even though... I did play through it because honestly it was just more of the same with a bit of a different aesthetic on it but Maneater is just dumb fun like it's you know you play a shark you get to terrorize humans kill other predators in the ocean like it is just comical there's not a lot to it you are a shark you eat things you grow you mutate you eat more things very simple gameplay loop but man <laughs> the game is hilariously fun it does get a little repetitive if you play it for a long time, but just in terms of gameplay, having this absolute mammoth of a shark jump onto a beach and just terrorize humans in a way that is like obviously not possible for a shark to do was just hilarious and fun. So there you go, guys. Five video games that I have just had the most fun 100%ing of all of the games that I've 100%ed. And while again, I do find CRPGs and longer RPGs to be a more satisfying gameplay experience that I really look for, I think video games can be a lot of things to a lot of people, and these shorter, snappier experiences that are really well done from a gameplay standpoint or just broken in a way that's fun have their place as well. So I just kind of wanted to make a fun video today, so here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truthfully, thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.